okay on this video we shown this is the USB drive that I made up Ubuntu bootable installer okay by the way I'm Fajar Purnama hi everybody and I would like to install Ubuntu on an external drive so it can be portable to other computers but take note that using a like the uh, the some drivers like the Wi-Fi driver and stuff might not be compatible to other uh, device so you need to reconfigure some of the drivers but for now let's just try so this is let me start again for this laptop I use escape to go to the to go to my bootable section if not you press F2 and then if you don't know where it is you press F2 and then you choose uh, the USB to be booted first so this time is a send this cruiser switch to zero one I would like to boot it using BIOS instead of UEFI and as you can see I'm booting on um, on Ubuntu installer from this disk and I will install on that disk and if your partition on the laptop is already a U E if your is already an EFI a new one this method might not work as for me it didn't work when I try to install the bootloader on the device but instead it will just ignore it and install the bootloader on the PC so if you are using a EFI we'll be careful with this and do some research first but if you use an old PC I can guarantee that it work now over here I will do install Ubuntu in English and I will not be using any Wi-Fi I just want to do this offline thanks continue and maybe if I have a connection maybe I'll use this but for now I don't need this I'll just activate it later this will take quite some time though it will read because it will read the drive that is uh, inserted my flash drive the internal hard drive and the inserted uh, my big my passport internal uh, two terabyte hard drive so here there are some options for installing ubuntu you can install ubuntu alongside your operating system if you already have windows you will have two ubuntu and windows or you want to erase but for me i would want to do something else installing it on the my passport and of course this is very important make sure you install the bootloader on the my passport on sdp for my case although here i already have although here i already have ubuntu but i want to make a total tutorial for this so i will install it from the beginning here sdb is my is this drive the passport drive and you can see through the size is two tera so turning from the beginning i will erase this i will erase the free space and by the way I've, there is already a partition table here about two terabyte if you don't have a partition table you should you create new partition table but this time there is already a partition table so no need so for now I'll make uh, 1.5 1.5 tera for 
for the Ubuntu itself, the root partition and stuff. Here, remember to use the mount point to root. I'm using a XT4 journal file system, primary beginning, and okay. And then the, the finally the last space I'm going to use it for a swap logical primary I think is anything is okay and then make change this to swap and okay now on your SDP there is this uh, the root partition and the swap maybe you want to make more partition but this is the simplest one and this don't make a mistake you have to install this on the on your my passport the bootloader but if you use a new newer partition table on your if there is an EFI on your laptop or your PC this might not work so this will kind of work on a old PC or maybe the newest one so after that install now and it will give you some uh, details what the changes on the right to this are for me maybe this is my old swap which is already here but no problem and then the, this partition will be changed on the SDB which is this passport one as a external four for the file system and next is for the swap so none of my this is changed so if you see that a lot of this is here is changed be very careful make sure that only the passport or the place that you're intending to install is changed continue now choose your location for now I'm in Yangon and I'm I like to use English US and continue okay I will, this is actually for one of the members in YTU is not actually mine but this is just a tutorial that I like to make and I'm not afraid of showing this password because this is just for private use now after this you just need to wait until everything is finished it will take quite a while a few minutes so I'm stopping the video for a while but actually that's practically it all you need to do is just restart okay it seems we have finished the installation process now it just tell, tells us to restart to restart now let me try booting in my hard disk first okay ltd just yes, use a control lt delete to not okay looks like it will go to my to the efi installation so i press escape and then yeah it looks like this one is on the top but then let's try doing uh, Toshiba oh yeah by the way if your hard disk uh, is use UFI try using a UFI installation mode if your hard disk is like mine no mine is both can be BIOS or UFI but I prefer BIOS for now and now let's see how my hard disk is doing as you can see my hard disk remains untouched I have my still I have my Kali Linux I have my Windows OS uh, Windows 10 and I have my remix OS now uh, control LT delete and let's try booting into the passport as you can see well when making the bootloader it also detect my windows 10 kali 
I did, didn't detect my remix OS but this is fine so as you can see that the hard disk remain untouched now I'm booting into the passport it has its own bootloader and now we'll boot from it this will take quite a while let me pause then as you can see uh, the, the Ubuntu on the hard disk is running ok but it's reading from the well i'm using a super speed a usb 3.0 it should be fast enough but okay <coughs> now everything is done hmm, let me connect to the wi-fi and see if well it's actually done okay what the first the first thing you should ever do with Ubuntu is you need a terminal and then a sudo the first thing you should do is update and if you want to upgrade is optional up to you because this will take a lot of this will need a lot of uh, what you call it data but this is the first thing that you must do update certainly uh, update And what happened? Mm, oh well, maybe that's the video for now. I'll try to fix this. <laughs>